everyone, it's Christina with Bubblegum Paper and I'm back with a bonus video. So I just finished the One Kit Five Card series. I'll put a link to the playlist here. In that series, I used products from Doodlebug Design and it was the Under the Sea Essentials Kit. So at the end of my fifth card video, I shared all of the leftover materials and papers and stickers that I had. And I decided I was gonna take some of those scraps and create a planner spread from them. So this spread is actually back in time. It's as if I traveled back to two or three weeks ago. Um, but I, since I didn't decorate my planner that week, I figured this was the perfect time since that was the week I was in Hawaii. So anyhow, let me share a close up of what that planner spread looks like and let's get started. As I mentioned, I used the Doodlebug Design Under the Sea Collection Essentials Kit for all the cards in my series. And so what you're going to see today are the leftover scraps I have after making five cards. So you won't see the full kit collection. If you are interested in the full collection, take a look at my very first card video from the series where I walk through all the different components. I'll put a link here. Now I love planners and I have so many of them. I use the Emily Lay Simplified Planner for my day-to-day -day stuff. I use Google Calendar for work. And then for my blog and bubblegum paper related stuff, I use this Erin Condren Life Planner, which is super awesome. This one happens to have a custom cover. It says do what you love and do it often. And it says bubblegum paper on it. Now the week that I went to Hawaii was the week of October 24th and I didn't post anything on bubblegumpaper.com or on my YouTube channel, so it was actually a very clean spread. Um, I did absolutely no crafting that week because I was so busy in other parts of my life. But I do have these awesome fancy frill borders left over from the card series and I have some headers and page flags and heart checklists that I created myself. So I didn't buy these off of Etsy. I just printed them out on my home printer and cut them with my Cricut machine. They're very cool um, and I can make them in any color I want. So I typically have this assortment of rainbow colors and this matches the um, Under the Sea Essentials collection really well as well. So here are some of the leftover scraps that I have. So just a bunch of smaller scrapbook paper. I shared this in card number five, like the video card number five video. And I cut them down so that they fit these full boxes in the Erin Condren Life Planner. I probably won't use all of them, but I wanted to show that I have all these different patterns that I can place. In addition to the stickers that I made, I also have a couple sticker books. These are the Me and My Big Idea sticker books that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or I think maybe even Joann's, I'm not sure. Um, and then I also have the stickers left over, as you know, from the Under the Sea collection. And now I'm taking some of the leftover pattern paper and I'm making this, I'm just kind of covering the bottom of the planner and making this sea theme. One of those waves is upside down and I don't know if I actually turn it right side up again. <laughs> I just noticed it as I'm doing this voiceover. I'm also taking some of the fancy frills and I'm covering up the thankful thoughts box, not because I don't like the thankful thoughts, but because this whole theme for October is brown and orange for like Halloween and, and fall and I'm turning it into an under the sea pastel goodness. So I'm just trying to cover up some of the some of the darker colors that are on the existing planner spread. Then I'm gonna use that seagull, the seagull that I had um, left over, and I'm trying to figure out what to put there. The starfish probably doesn't belong there, and um, I can't remember if I move it or not later on, but it's there for now. Now I'm just gonna zoom in and show all the different page headers. So I make bubblegum page headers as just a reminder of what I wanna post either on YouTube or on my blog. The to-do list is really specific to crafts. So like any kind of crafting thing I need to do, I put in the to-do list. Then I have other page headers like film or edit or just general like organize because sometimes I craft like crazy and then the place is a mess so I have to go and organize it. I'm taking one of these sticky notes or stickers from um, the Me and My Big Ideas sticker book, and I'm adding the fancy frills to the top and the bottom, so it kind of makes like a little scalloped border for this checklist. And then I'm going to go in and add a full box sticker um, using the sea creatures, and I'm putting that off to the side as well. Now I'm gonna just pick out random stickers. So this one happens to say, choose happy, and I'll put a happy thought there. 
And then I'm also, this is out of camera, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm actually taking more of that rainbow fancy frill sticker and I'm adding um, kind of like a decorative border. So here I'm taking the little pink circular uh, fancy frills and I'm punching out all the holes. This actually took more time than I expected. I'm just adding a little border. And then underneath that I put a habit tracker which is like a sticker that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and it has little sort of check, bar check boxes there. So I just wrote hydrate and medicine there to remind myself to drink plenty of water and to take medicine as needed. Um, I still have to take one medication post-surgery, but I'm otherwise I'm I'm in the clear, so all is good. Then um, I'm putting in like a little checklist for organize, and I think I'm looking for a sticker to stick there that just says note. And again, like planning the figuring out what to put where is kind of random like usually when I do this I do half of the week and then I figure out what goes in the next half but because I'm doing this sort of back to the future style <laughs> I'm just going in and placing things down so this is really a representative spread as opposed to an actual spread here this part is true I did go to Hawaii I left on the 27th and I was there for six days so I'm placing Hawaii down um, on the little blue wavy border and I'm using some of the letter stickers that came with the kit. And then I had a bunch of to-dos and the to-dos here were more like, don't forget to get on the airplane so that you can get to the island. And then I'm putting in um, like a weekend kind of cover. I have to-do lists here as well. And then I'm taking these little fish. The fish fancy frills are so cute. So, um, so I put the fish down and then I took some of my pattern paper full boxes and I decided to kind of straddle one of the headers because I really didn't have much to do in Hawaii. So I wanted to cover some of those page headers and just create big boxes. I think one of my things in Hawaii was after, other than flying out, was um, meeting a friend for lunch. We had pokey. It was delicious. That's why I put the fish there because I love sushi. And then that night we had a really awesome sushi dinner. Um, so again, more fish. And then the next day we just kind of hung out around the island and it was really a relaxing time. We had a barbecue to go to later that evening. And then, um, and then the rest of the weekend was really just spent like relaxing, lounging, walking around and eating delicious food. So now I'm just going to take some of the extra um, icon stickers, like the whale and the little mermaid. I don't know if I actually used the little mermaid, but I'm taking some of these extra stickers. And originally I was going to put seashells across the entire top, but then I just took one of those fancy frills and just marked off the four days that I was on vacation. So here I'm going to zoom in and just share what I've done so far for the layout. So I have my bubblegum headers, my to-do headers, I have organizing and editing, I have the habit tracker, and then over here I just have the to-dos and a couple full boxes that I can fill in with whatever big activities we have planned. Think happy, be happy because you're in Hawaii, so why not think happy, be happy, and relax. Now I'm just going to go in and fill some of the white space with additional stickers. So I am actually going to set this to some music and speed it up because there's really, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to go in, add some page headers and stickers all over, and then I'll be back at the end.
So now I'm just finishing up this last part where the seagull, um, I put him behind some purple paper so that he would shine through and then I added a half box. So here is the finished spread. It's super bright, cheery, and colorful and it's a great way to use up any extra supplies you have. So don't forget to use your stickers and your planners and just really um, go all out, have fun. It's all for you. Thank you all so much for watching this entire series and the bonus video. If you've missed it, I've put the playlist to the series here, and you can also subscribe to watch more videos. You can find me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. Thanks again, and catch you next time. Bye!